So today we're going to show you how to run power going to the light, then to the switch. So you've got power coming in, you've got three wires coming in, you've got a hot wire, which is the black wire, you've got a, a white wire, I had to improvise here and use kind of like a yellow for the intro well, and you've got a ground wire. So three wires coming in, the first thing you do is hook up the, the neutral wire to the silver screw on the light. Now, you have to bring the power from the power source to the switch first. So what you do is you're going to mar your black wire coming in from the power with your neutral wire. And then you're going to have to mark, put a black tape on that neutral wire to both ends to let people know that that now becomes the hot wire. So you mar it here, you bring power into the bottom of the switch. And when you turn the switch on, the power goes back, completes the circuit. So you've got a black wire coming in the gold. You've got the neutral wire on the silver. You've got all your grounds connected, grounded to the box. And then the ground coming is grounded to the box and the newer switches have the ground on the switch itself. My last video, I showed you how to hook up a wire to the switch and then to the light. Now, this is just a prop. Don't use this cat tire. I just use this wire to show you actually how it goes into the box. So now we want to reverse it. We want to put power to the light first. Then go to the switch. So it's different wiring. So let's take a look at that, that today. So we're going to bring power to the light first. Then we're going to put it to the switch. The switch is going to control the light. So we'll have to wire it differently than the last time. So just a short piece of wire in here so you can see it uh, easier. So I did one side, so I show the other side, the Crocs. These are the uh, pliers I did a demonstration on the other day. So we'll use the, the cutters here, get the sheathing off here. This is the power that's going to go into the light first. So I already cut the end on the black wire. So just cut the end on the white wire here, the neutral wire. You need about three quarters of an inch. Now we'll start hooking that up. Bring the power into the light switch. So we'll take this tab off here. Just break it off. I'll run our wire in here now and then wired from the switch in here. So we're going to our power into the light first, then we're going to hook it up to the switch. The power goes to the light first, then to the switch. We've got about eight inches of wire inside here. To tighten that clamp down, make sure you got it on the uh, sheathing to hold the wire in here. Now we're going to put the wire from the light to the switch. Again, about six to eight inches of wire in here. So tighten that down. Make sure the uh, clamp's on the sheathing. You don't want to damage the wires here. So this clamp will hold it in place here. So last video we crimped this uh, terminal on here and we're going to use these ground ground wires to connect them all together. We're going to ground it right here to the octagon box where the light is using this clip here. So remove that ground screw in the box and we're going to put that clip in there. Use that as a ground there so we don't have to worry about wiring it on this, this will be right to the ground, right to the box. So we'll put the ground back in here, tighten that up. Now we'll use a mar to 
wire all these copper wires together, all the copper ground wires together. Connect all our grounds so we got ground going from the light to the switch and ground coming from the power. And then we got to ground it to the, the octagon box here. Put all our grounds in there. I'm going to use this Wago connector. It's so much easier to use the Wago connector. It just snaps in place here. And then makes it easier. So all the grounds are connected now. One from the power, one to the switch, and then one ground going to the box itself. So we've got power coming in, neutral, and the hot wire. So to bring power to the switch and back to the light, we're going to have to connect the power coming from the power source to the neutral wire going to the switch to bring back the power to the light. So we have to connect the power coming in to the neutral wire we use a Wigo connector. You can use a Mar as well. I just prefer the Wigo connector. Makes a nice job. So when you got power coming in to the Wigo connector, now the power is going to go to the switch, then back to the light. So you can use your, your wire as well. So the white wire coming from the power is going to loop on the silver screw on the light. Tighten that down. Now the black wire is going to go on the gold screw going to the switch. So the black wire coming from the switch is going to go on the gold terminal. So connected the gold terminal here, coming from the switch. So you got a white coming from the power going to the silver, black coming from the switch going to the gold. So this is the power coming in. We're going to hook it to the neutral to give power to the switch. So when we're doing that, we're going to have to put a black piece of tape on here just to remind us that this is the power and uh, it's going to the switch. Put a piece of tape on there just to remind us that we get, this is the power going into the switch. So we've got black tape on this. So the neutral wire is not the hot wire. So we'll tape that up just to let us know that that's the hot wire now. So if somebody else looks at it, they'll look at it and they'll say, okay, this is a hot wire that's coming in here. Now we'll hook it up to the switch. So this is the, going to be the switch. And what's going to happen now, you're going to bring the, the neutral wire in with the black tape on it, telling you that's the power coming in to the bottom of the screw here. And then the other wire is going to go to the top of the screw. So this is the, the way you want it when it says, when this shows off here. And when you put it on, it shows on. So you have power going through there. And you have this switch in the right proper position. And we're going to take uh, this plate off again and show you how to ground it. So we're going to have to ground it to the box. And they are going to have to ground it to the switch as well. You're going to bring the wires in here. We're going to ground to the back. Of the electrical box here and I'll take the side plate off so you can see it better it's easier for me to show you this way take that side plate off here Just loosen that screw off on the side here and that whole side plate will come off just twist off like that now I'll put the ground screw in here and then hook it to the switch as well put our wires through here and I'm going to hook that ground in the bottom there Tighten that screw down to hold the sheathing in place here. Now that sheathing clamp should hold it on the sheathing, not on the wires. We'll tighten that up. Then I'm going to hook up around the ground wire. 
and then we'll hook it on the uh, switch as well. Hook it on the ground here on the box, then we'll hook it to the switch as well. Now we've got two wires coming in here. That's going to be your hot wire, and the blast going to return to the light. Hook the ground wire in the back of the electrical box here, and then tighten it down. And turn it the same way you tighten the screw down. So hook that copper wire around the screw and turn it the same way you're going to tighten it. Now the ground wire is connected to the back of the box and we'll just hook it to the the switch itself. Now these two wires are going to have to be looped. They're going to hook onto the switch. So these two wires are going to go on the switch. So this is the neutral. Remember we fed it from the power. Now this is the little tape on here tells us this is the power coming in. That's going on the bottom of the switch and this will go on the top of the switch. So we'll loop those two wires here so you can hook them on the switch. So we've got the neutral coming in which is, shows the power with the the black tape on it we'll hook that in the bottom of the switch and then we're going to hook the black one on the top of the switch so loop it the same way as you're going to turn the screw so we'll tighten that up now the power is coming in the bottom of the switch and then we'll turn on the black wire on top of the switch here So loop it the same way. So you got a black wire coming to the neutral. Now it's a hot wire. Hooks in the bottom of the switch. And then when you flip it on, when you flip it on, the power will go back to the back on the black wire, back on the light, and turn the light on. Last step is to put our ground wire, this connect to the box on the ground screw on the switch. So we'll loop that wire here and we'll hook it onto the ground. Last step is to hook the ground onto the ground terminal on the switch and tighten that up and hook it the same way that you tighten the screw. Put our plate back in, just hook it in there and slide it over. Just tighten this screw now. So you won't be doing that. I just did it to show you how to do it so you can see how the ground went in. Assemble everything. Let's see if it works. We're in our light bulb here. Plug our power in. Turn the switch on and the light comes on. Hope you enjoyed my video on how to wire power to the light first, then to the switch. And we use the Klein 15 and one screwdriver and these crocs here, these pliers work fairly well. So uh, please uh, ring that bell and uh, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Watch this for the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Have a great day, people.